Hello and welcome to the Scatterville channel and today I want to welcome you to part two of the construction of the brand new Scatterville gaming and filming studio. So last time you just saw the main structure of the overall setup. I didn't really go into the nifty gritty specifics, but in this part two vlog, I'm going to be doing a little bit of that. And then after this video, I'm going to have the full gaming PC video where I talk about my brand new gaming PC right here and its specs that's going to be driving this really cool setup behind me. But yeah, I thought I'd show a little bit more in this part two intro, but more or less, this is a continuation of the first vlog. And again, if you want to check that one out, I'll have a link to that video at the bottom of the description. Or no, in the middle of the description. That's more fair. Anyways, enough talk. I'll go ahead and let you guys get right into the second vlog. So you just built a brand new gaming PC, but you have no budget left to buy one of those expensive $100 Windows 10 Pro or home keys from Microsoft's website. And you have that annoying activate Windows watermark at the bottom right of your screen. Well, if you had a little bit of money to scrap up, I would recommend taking a look at SCD keys for your next Windows 10 license because they sell keys for Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro all the way from 12 to $16. I've used their keys before for Windows 10 Pro and Windows 10 Home many times, including my brand new gaming PC that I have for my new setup that you can see right here, me actually going ahead and grabbing one of their keys and activating it on my new PC. So right then and there, you can get a key for an inexpensive price and get straight to having an officially licensed Windows 10 experience and not have that annoying watermark. So if you wanna check out sedkeys.com, go ahead and check out them at the very top of the description and feel free to use the provided discount code to get a percentage discount on your next order. And now back to the video. Okay, so this is like day five. I'd say I'm officially like a weekend into living officially in the new house with the new studio nearly done. And at this point, I kind of have no excuses not to finish everything today. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna have everything you see done because right here, this is the visa mount for our ViewSock monitor that we have. And with that, I can finally put it on the desk here, right there. Because with the actual gaming monitor stand, while it looks really great, it takes up space. And this desk right here is actually about like four to three inches smaller in actual length so it's actually like not as wide as my old desk but we can work around that so that's why i'm going to get that monitor well i mean the visa mount right there right so i was just waiting for that but now with that i basically have no excuses to not finish everything by today and on that note check this out this is the new white wall i was talking about looks like it could still fit some panels there or below i might actually go below we'll see but yeah, this looks pretty neat. Anyways, everything is gonna be finished today. Promise. So for you guys who may be curious, the way I'm actually gonna be mounting the desk down here, which has some stuff on it, onto these IKEA drawers right over here, is through these little clear silicon pads, specifically these. I didn't want to go with any sort of like, what would you call it, like counter mounting or something like that. Like, I'm sure you've seen what Ren and Frank P has done before with his desk. I didn't want to do that. I kind of like just having a clean slate on top of the drawers with no extra like baggage underneath. So I'm going to be keeping it with that, but I didn't want to use the flimsy included small like rubber mounts that were with these drawers. I wanted something more sturdy. So we got this 20 pack from Amazon of like these like silicon, just basically bigger versions of what you're given in your Ikea drawer. So that way we can ensure that the, that the tabletop doesn't slip and you know, doesn't totally ruin the drawers on top. So one more thing I want to point out for the power brick, um, for comparison, this is what I was running my last setup. So it's a four port power surge protector that you can mount onto the bottom of a desk. 
and it has four USB ports, which I ultimately only ended up using two of those. This right here is the new surge protector that's going to be going underneath the desk. It's flat, it's got eight ports, and it's pretty long, but as you can see, there's actually some space between each of the ports, so if I have any bulky like AC adapters or DC ports or anything like that. This has enough space to support eight of those. And it has two USB ports right there. So this is gonna be great for housing my computer, the test bench, the monitor, any sort of extra peripherals like this, um, oh yeah, the speakers and the amp, or any sort of RGB lights. So this thing's gonna be maxed out, but it's gonna be beautiful. So real quickly, I want to give a shout out to the monitor stand for the XG350R because this thing is most definitely magnificent and probably super beautiful in every way, though I can't use it because I have that face amount right there on the desk. So unfortunately, this really nice looking monitor stand is not going to be there. Though you can see why I didn't go with this is because the monitor stand right here sticks out a ton. And this takes up deck space. So that visa mount back there doesn't, so so we don't need this, but it's very nice looking. Look at that. And if I can get myself a good footing right here, look at the symmetry we got going on here. If you ignore like just the general roundness of the lens, because I move lenses right, they're not perfectly flat. So it looks just a little bit curved, but like, look at that. It's nearly symmetrical from my point of view. And on video, this will show up much better. So that's gonna be behind me in all commentaries from now on. Now check this out, there's still a few more things I gotta deal with. Here's the power brick for this monster of a monitor. So actually again, I'm gonna use these little 3M tape things to tape this underneath the desk. Also gotta do the cable wiring and I would really like to proceed with more of this stuff, but there's a problem. So right here is the cable raceway and I was hoping that with my setup here, that there was enough space, actually as you can tell right there, between the wall and the cabinet, or the drawer. And hopefully that was enough space to throw in one of these. But now that I have that vase amount there, what would be like, you know, enough space for this thing, since it's longer than the distance between these two drawers, is actually being blocked off by the clamp underneath there. So you can tell, you can't tell because I have the power brick there, but basically I can't put this flush onto the very back because it's too long and it interferes with that base amount. So what I'm going to have to do later is go ahead and actually cut off a portion of this raceway. I've actually marked it right here. There we go. So I'm going to cut it off right here and this will be enough to let me place it in between the two drawers. So for the moment, I'm not gonna have a raceway, which is really annoying. So I'm just gonna have a bunch of cables kind of dangling down there. So I just gotta worry about that. But aside from that, everything 
is going according to plan. And also since I can't really, you know, deck out this whole bunch, I can't really go all in on like the cable mounts and the, the routing and all that. I can't go all in on this since I don't have this to route them all through. But there is some good news. That being, oh my goodness, I just got so much crap on my desk already. Oh yeah, check out this, uh, check out this monster of a chair I got, got right now. Oh yeah, right there is the, uh, that is the finished wall for our standing desk setup. And it's also kind of like a background too. Anyways, let me show you this. This right here are our two Klipsch speakers. These are RF14Ms. They are both refurbished. They're not brand new, but I'm really surprised because these look fantastic. Like, you can almost say they're brand new. But I got both of these on Amazon for $95. So, not bad at all, I think. And so one of these is going to go on the right, and the other is going to go on the left. And I think it's going to blend well with the concrete, kind of gray-black aesthetic that we're going on right now. With the mouse pad and with these. And soon to be the mouse and keyboard. And... Yeah, it's gonna look nice. So let me go ahead and put these into place. But for the amp that I'm using to power both of these speakers, I'm using this, I don't know how to pronounce that, but this is a Class D amplifier. Now, yes, it is Class D. It's not the best there is. I've been notified of this. It's not Class A or Class B, which from what I've been told is the true purpose of these speakers. Though from what I've seen in reviews, these are actually kind of low powered. They're not super hungry power monster speakers that you typically think of. I mean, they're bookshelf speakers. So with that logic and with some consultation from some audiophiles, I decided to settle on this amp because it's portable, small, so I can put it on my desk right there. And it's not obscenely huge because I have been shown a few class A and class B speaker, no, class B uh, amplifiers that are just so ginormous, and I don't wanna have one of those on my desk. So this small, compact little Class D one, which from what I've seen the specs and the, the reviews, looks to be enough to power these, is gonna be driving the sound between these two speakers. So last night I went ahead and did some test B-roll shots of the new desk right here, the new standing desk from Anthro Desk, with the 3D panel art background, and it looks clean. It is very clean. Molly's gonna post up some photos that I took on my Pixel 3, so not even my Canon M50, so what I'm using right now to film this, and man, it is clean. And at least with this, because for the moment, my desk setup back here, it's not complete. Maybe finished by today, it just depends on how lazy I am. But if this does get completed today, or if it doesn't, I'll tell you what, at minimum by today, I'll have B-roll shot for this future upcoming video that's gonna come out probably Friday, and maybe shoot some like beginning A-roll for like the first vlog segment. It's like the first series of vlogs that I've had so far. So, because I mean, I think it's about time that I start putting out more videos, right? So, that's going to be the goal for today, as well as cleaning up everything and finishing as much as I can on this, maybe including building a new PC. I probably should do that. If I want to actually get stuff done today, I should probably do that on top of the test bench right there. Oh yeah, right here. This is a light that was sent to us from Aki. This is like a cool little RGB lamp, but I think it could add a little bit of spice to the setup. 
So that's why I'm going to be using it and I'm just going to be placing it right here in the corner so it can also act as a lamp for the desk and the test bench is going to go right here and I just need to clean up all this stuff because after shooting those like little test shots from last night, like guys, I, I need to step the game up. Like this, this place is too cool not to take advantage of right now, especially considering that I'm only like three weeks away from school and I do have like a week's worth of vacation I'm gonna be doing. But don't worry, I'll make time for it. I have some secret weapons that'll allow me to get a lot of stuff done this upcoming school year, despite all the schoolwork that I'll have. It's gonna happen, don't worry. I may have to go no social life for like maybe two days of the week, but that's it. So real quick, how about let me just talk about a few more things that are on my desk. So here I have a Ugreen 4 port USB hub. This is the same one that I had for my old setup. I'm going to go ahead and 3M tape that bad boy down. Again, like I said earlier, this is my, I can't pronounce it, Class D amp for my two clip speakers. So if you look in the back on this. The two ports up top are going to be to connect to my computer and these two audio jacks down here are going to be for the left and right speakers because these are going to be providing all the power to them. And it looks so good. I'm, I'm actually happy that I chose that in red. I could have gone with black like the rest of this stuff but I just think the red speaker amp just kind of pops out you know like it's a necessary pop to have in a really kind of maybe blandish looking setup like this. So I could put it this way. Uh, I should probably keep it this way. So it's gonna be just my little dial I can turn up and down. Next up what I got here. We got the trash going on outside. So right here I have three different bags. The first one is a two port SD card reader. So this can read two SD cards at once. You probably can't see it that well, but once I bust this out, and put it on the desk, you'll be able to see why. Here is a bunch of cable routing mounts that I'm gonna be putting on the back of the desk, possibly on the shelves. I tried to get RGB to work, but it is so complicated. I'm not gonna put in the, I mean, it's too much trouble for what it's worth. And I mean, I think you can kinda achieve that same RGB aesthetic with like these small little Aki lights right here. Anyways, that um, these are some more cable routing things that are a bit bigger. So the goal is to use as many of these as possible because if I don't need to use those, then I can return these. And then finally, these are two cables for the four port USB hub. And this is like a Play-Doh hammer. <laughs> and so this is just from making a bed frame. But here I got some nails and we're gonna be mounting the YouTube plaque right there over the middle of the monitor. And on the two sides, we're gonna have the two shelves I got right there. So I'm gonna see how much I get done today on that. So that is it for the part two vlog of the overall construction of the new Skyvolt filming and gaming studio. So with that out of the way, I just want to remind you guys that there is a technical part three to this series coming out very soon where I'll be covering the actual gaming PC and more or less make it like an overall gaming PC video. But I'll look forward to that as well as many more videos to come in this new studio. But with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching and this is the Skyvolt channel, signing out.